Hello everybody and welcome to our module presentation of ILNAS and the National Standards Body. So ILNAS is a public administration under the authority of the Minister of the Economy himself and uh, this structure has been created by the amended law of 4th of July in 2014. And uh, so ILNAS is composed of six different departments in which you can find uh, 53 uh, persons so working for the public administration in general and uh, most of the departments are also covered by an ISO 9001 certification. Concerning the different departments, uh, so we have already one which is related to the topic of accreditation and which is named OLAS, which means Office Luxembourgeois l'accreditation et de la surveillance and so this department figures as national accreditation body um, in Luxembourg. Then we have one department related to digital trust and they are responsible for the supervision of digital trust service provider as well as for the supervision of, of e archiving service providers. Our market surveillance department um, aims to control the conformity of products which enter the national territory in order to assure that these products are safe for our national consumers. Uh, a new department which has been recently created at the uh, illness level is the one which is called cyber security and this specific department figures as national cyber security certification authority at national level. And then we have the metrology which is separated uh, in two different fields. So once we have the legal metrology and on the other side we have the industrial and research metrology. And last but not least, you have the standardization department, which uh, is the national standards body uh, of Luxembourg, which is also called OLN, so l'organisme luxembourgeois de normalisation. This specific uh, department is composed of six people which are working on the topic of standardization, but we are also closely collaborating with an economic interest group called ANEC, which means Agence pour la normalisation et l'économie de la connaissance, where eight people are also working in the field of um, standardization. So in total, we have 14 people which are active at standardization level. And uh, this collaboration um, is very important in order to assure that the national standardization strategy uh, is well being executed. The EIG ANEC, so which means Agency for Standardization and Knowledge-Based Economy, has been created on the 4th of October 2010 which was an, an initiative of the Ministry of the Economy, of Ilnas, of Chambre de Métier and Chambre de Commerce. And the aim and the objective more or less of ANEC is to promote, raise awareness and train and do some applied research in the field of standardization and metrology in order to support companies' competitiveness in Luxembourg. So today we have 12 persons working in this specific economic interest group from which eight are dedicated to the standardization topic. So and they are working closely together with the National Spanners Body in order to um, assure the implementation of the Luxembourg standardization strategy. So this is a collaborative effort which is done on this specific field. Concerning the national standardization strategy, so our Q and strategy is the one which uh, the wise in 2020, 2030, and this one is composed of uh, four different pillars. So the first two pillars uh, which aims towards performance, and the first one uh, is the one which uh, tries to value and promote the use of relevant technical standards, which is something new and has not been covered by our, our past strategy because in this one the focus really was uh, to foster and support the involvement in the technical standardization process so which is the second pillar of our uh, new strategy and but we we wanted to go further and also try to, uh, to to really promote the usage of the specific standards but of course the uh, involvement in the technical standardization process still remains very important at national level and also so for us because um, we want to assure that the national companies are being well represented at uh, TC, SC or, what, or, or the working group level in order to assure uh, that their specific interests are being taken into consideration in the development process. 
the pillar three and four, which aims toward excellence. So the pillar three uh, tries to ensure the active participation of the NSB in European and international standardization organizations and relevant technical committees. So there, of course, uh, as national standards body, we are actively participating at the general assemblies, uh, technical bureaus, uh, specific technical committees, and as well as other governance uh, working group. So, and we are, of course, we are there as national standards body in, also in order to assure that our specific interests are being taken into consideration. Pillar four is the one which is related to the organization and participation in the development of research and education about standardization activities. And for this specific pillar, we can, for example, mention our master in uh, technopreneurship, uh, which has been launched in February 20, uh, 2021, as well as the dedicated research program, uh, which has also been uh, launched uh, recently. But I will come back uh, on this specific topic in a few slides. Another point which has to be highlighted uh, for our national standardization strategy 2020-2030 is that beside of the ICT domain, which has already been covered by our past strategy, we are now covering two more growth sectors which have been identified, notably the one of the, cons the construction sector as well as the aerospace sector. So these three sectors are of a particular economic interest at national level. And that's why we also have established uh, uh, some national policies for each of these specific sector in order to define the actions we want to take uh, in future in order to uh, develop technical standardization in these specific fields. Concerning our standardization activities in Luxembourg, we can already say that we want to foster and promote voluntary consensus-based standards. So therefore, we have, for example, our website, which is the portaikalite.lu, which is regularly updated and where you can find uh, uh, relevant information about standardization if you're interested in. Uh, then, of course, we have our monthly uh, newsletter, which, we, which you can subscribe if you're interested by just using the link. We have, uh, we organize different events, for example, the World Standards Day, which is uh, organized in uh, normally mid-October, but we also have different other events which can be organized depending on the topics we are treating. Then, of course, we are publishing specific brochures, which are more or less uh, in order to raise awareness among uh, interested actors, as well as we are publishing uh, white papers, and these are on uh, hot topics which are directly related to the uh, economic sectors which are covered by the standardization strategy. And of course, we are also present on social media. We have our LinkedIn uh, site as well as a YouTube channel where we can find uh, different, uh, different interviews as well as training materials. Then of course, we also organize education and training courses about standardization. So therefore, we have a training catalog which is updated uh, on an annual basis where you can find some uh, introduction trainings to the topic of standardization, as well as some specific trainings, for example, for national delegates in order to show them how to use the collaborative platforms of the standardization organizations or how to do, um, how to use the voting platform, etc. But we also have some specific uh, trainings, which are also once again linked to the hot topics, um, which are covered uh, in our national standardization strategy. And we also have a partnership with the University of Luxembourg now for a few years, which uh, some pretty interesting results. So we have, for example, had a research program 2017 to 20, which it was on digital trust for smart ICT. So as our strategy focused on ICT, this was also a topic on which the research program focused. And um, because of that, we were able to develop uh, with the, in collaboration with the University of Luxembourg and the Luxembourg Lifelong Learning Center from the Chambre des Salariés, the Master MTech Technopreneurship, which aims to mastering smart ICT standardization and digital trust for enabling next generation of ICT solutions. So the aim of this master is to provide students with a base of knowledge on topics which are reflecting current issues and those at the cutting edge of smart ICT 
And also, on the other hand, it serves as a catalyst for growth in the ICT industry by offering practical examples and case studies which are illustrating the use of technical standardization as a tool to give common language, build trust and foster effectiveness in smart ICT. And as you already know, we have our new standardization strategy, so we also have a new research program, uh, 221 to 24, which is named Technical Standardization for Trustworthy ICT, Aerospace and Construction Sector. So once again, you can find you can you can find the three specific sectors which are covered by our standardization strategy. As a national standards body, of course, we also coordinate and supervise the creation of, of national standards. So in the field of the construction sector, we can say, for example, that we created a national standards office in collaboration with the CRTB. Uh, and this means that uh, as soon as we receive a request to create a national standard in this specific field, this will be analyzed and uh, planned in collaboration with the CRTB so that uh, we share some responsibilities in the in this standardization process. Uh, concerning the national standards which have been created or are being currently created, we can, for example, name the national standard about the living surface, which has been published uh, in 2016 and which is named Ilnas 101. Then, of course, we have the national annexes uh, to the Eurocodes. So those have been published in 2011 and revised in 2019. Then we are currently working on uh, two national annexes on concrete to European standards, which is ongoing work. And we are working on a national standard on building acoustics, which is uh, also ongoing work, as well as the national standard related to the technical controls uh, of building in order to uh, harmonize the controls. And this is also an ongoing work, but we should see some results very soon. Concerning the information communication technology sector, we uh, are currently working on a national standard on e-archiving. This is also an ongoing work and also a hot topic at the uh, European level. And there has been one national standard on information security in the context of the accreditation of laboratories. So in order to provide some guidelines to the, audit to the auditors as well as to the people which will be audited. So um, this, this standard uh, has been published in 2020 and it is named ILNAS 107. And in other domains, uh, we also created uh, some national standards. So, for example, there has been one national annex concerning the winter diesel, and this one has been published in um, 2013, as well as has been revised in 2019. As national standards body, as you can imagine, we also uh, have a huge standardization catalog. So. Uh, which is composed of different kind of standards. So you can already find the national standards, which are our, uh, the national, the Luxembourg standards, but we also have in our catalog some European standards, so which are of the European standardization organizations, SAN for general standardization, SAN like for the electrotechnical one and ETSI for the telecommunication. At international level, we have uh, ISO and IC standards. So once again, for the general standardization and once for the electrotechnical, and because it is also standards which are often used uh, at national level, we also offer some German standards, so the GIN, the DIN standards, which are the German national standards. So, and at a total, we have more than nearly 190,000 normative documents available. These standards can already be bought in our Illness eShop, if you're interested. We have uh, in different languages, French, German and English, if available. And we also have some pretty competitive prices. And you also have the possibility to freely access the draft standards which are in the public inquiry stage. So if you want to do so, don't hesitate, have a look on our Illness eShop. But if you're not, not interested in buying standards, but maybe you just want to have a look, you just want to look up a value or want to check if it's, it's the right standard you're looking for, you all ha also have the possibility to freely consult the European, international, as well as the national, so the Luxembourgish standards on diff in different locations at national level. 
But if you want to go further than simply just using standards or applying them in a specific field, you still have the possibility to get actively involved in the standardization process. So this, this means uh, that you have the possibility to be actively involved at national, European or international level in specific technical committees, subcommittees or working groups in which the standards are being elaborated. So this is a possibility which we offer to uh, every interested national actor. So it's open to everybody which has a specific competence in the domain which is treated, uh, in the, for, which is treated by the specific uh, committee, subcommittee or working group. And it is also completely free of charge. So if you are interested, don't hesitate to contact us if you need further details or just uh, click on the link which you can find at, uh, at the end of the presentation because there you get all the information about uh, the possibilities we offer you and also the process you have to respect in order to be able to uh, be registered in a specific uh, technical committee. As you can see on the slide, we also have a national register of delegates, so in which you can find all the national experts which are registered via ILNAS in order to be able to participate in the standardization process. So and if you are interested to get the latest version of this register, you can simply click on the link which you find on the slide because this uh, register is uh, available uh, on our Portail Qualité and is also updated on a regular basis. Thank you for your attention.